Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to continue showing you the major logins that you can use for Meteor. So in this video, we're going to talk about the Google login. So you can use your Google account to log into your Meteor site. And it's really easy to set that up. So let's get going on that right now. So in the last video, uh, if I sign out here, you can see we added sign in with Facebook and Twitter. So now we're going to continue that run of adding different types of accounts here. So in this video, we're going to show you how do you, you can install login with Google. And as you probably guessed, the process is very similar. So let's head over to our terminal. And in our terminal window where we've installed our plugins, we can hit Meteor add. And then the package we're going to add is going to be accounts hyphen Google. Okay, so this is going to grab our Google Accounts package. And after this installs, we'll head back to our project. And once again, let's go ahead and you'll notice that we now have the uh, red or this orange button that we're seeing, this configure that we saw with our last two authentication strategies. So let's click continue. So let's click configure and you'll see you want to go to code.google.com slash APIs. Now from here, we can go ahead and create a project. So let's click create a project with this large blue button. And then we can just say uh, Meteor resolutions. Okay. And you can give this a project ID of anything you'd like. However, it's uh, dynamically creating one. So let's go ahead and click create. So now that our project's done, we can go ahead and select Meteor Resolutions here. And over in the left-hand column, we want to select APIs and Auth. Now here, we want to go ahead and select Consent Screen. Okay, so here we can add things like our email address. Angela would want to enter the product name. This will just be Meteor Resolutions. Okay, now let's go ahead and click Save. Now we're going to want to go to credentials, which is just above consent screen. From here, we can go ahead and select OAuth. So here we'll just click create new client ID from the OAuth. And let's go ahead and select web application, which is already selected for us. Now authorize JavaScript origins and authorize redirect URIs. We're going to go ahead and get from that configuration window. So authorized origins are just going to be our local host with the port. Let's go ahead and just add this. And you'll notice it automatically added this OAuth 2 callback. So let's go ahead and verify that that's what we want. However, we want this authorized redirect URI to actually be something different. It's underscore OAuth forward slash Google. That's what our application is going to respond to. So we can just paste that in there and click create new client ID. Now this is creating our client ID. Now keep in mind, you're going to want to make sure that this information is your information to keep. We have the secret, the email address, the client ID, all of this stuff here, you're not gonna want to share with anybody else. However, uh, because I'm deleting this immediately, I can go ahead and, uh, and show you this process. So don't try to steal this information. As I've said in the past couple of videos, it's not gonna work. So client ID and client secret. So we're gonna copy this entire client ID. And we're gonna paste it in here. Then we're going to go ahead and copy this entire client secret and we're going to paste it into client secret. Now we want the pop-up based login and let's click save configuration. We now have the blue button like we've seen with the other two. We can click sign in with Google and it's going to say that media resolutions like to view your email address and your basic profile. So basically we don't have access to a ton of stuff. The user shouldn't get too scared by this. We can just click to accept here. And now it's created an account for myself and it's logged me in with the Google account. So anytime any of your users already have a Google account, they won't actually have to enter a new user password. They can just log into your site using their Google account. Okay, so this was super easy. And the next one's not gonna be too tough either. So this is adding a Google login to your Meteor application. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.